This is a short video presentation for my SNG 475 project. For my project, I implemented a sorting algorithm visualizer, which shows the internal workings of several different sorting algorithms. So if we start up the app here with no command line arguments, it takes a random set of uh, a random array uh, and shuffles it up and then the array is sorted so that the colors appear in order. So if we go take a look at the code here, we have this main file um, that includes some global variables. All of the, the graphics were done using the glut library and everything else is part of the C standard library, or C++ standard library. So this display refresh is the callback function for the display. And it's responsible for redrawing the display every time anything changes. Uh, and so in this case, the way that the software works is that we have an ordered array at the beginning, which is then shuffled and then fed into three separate sorting algorithms. Um, and inside each sorting algorithm, it will take kind of a snapshot of the state of the array every time that the array is accessed. So the more times you access it, the more things you have to display on the screen, so it'll take longer to get through. So bubble sort, for instance, takes uh, way more snapshots because it does a lot more comparisons going through the array uh, over and over and over again. So in order to reduce the overhead of redrawing the entire screen every time that uh, even just one element changes. Uh, I just keep track using these um, screen current vectors. They keep track of what is currently displayed on the screen versus what needs to be displayed on the screen so that you only need to update one color bar kind of with each frame. Now if we look at the main function here, the first thing that happens is there are a couple of optional command line arguments that you can you can uh, send to the app when you run it and this let this lets you have more control over the way that this uh, array is shuffled at the beginning so for instance you can have it instead of shuffling randomly you can reverse the array and see how that affects um, the sorting algorithms uh, and then below that we do some glut initializations and then uh, what happens here with this color generation is uh, it's a helper class that I wrote that basically helps you to generate an array of colors that are ordered and so they're ordered like the color wheel is with um, you go from red to green to blue back to red and so this helps you kind of define an order for the colors. And then after that, we shuffle up the array in whichever way was requested by the command line parameters. And then we uh, actually do the sorting and then pass everything over to glut so that every time this timer function expires, um, it will kind of update to the next snapshot in the array. So we can also pass some command line arguments to this using dash dash shuffle or dash s and we can say that you should reverse the array instead of shuffling it up randomly and then we see that we have something that's reversed and then it gets sorted and so this lets you see kind of the different ways that these the pros and cons of the uh, sorting algorithm so in this case bubble sort and insertion sort perform about the same uh, on a reversed array whereas quick sort handles it no problem However, on an array that is almost sorted, you'll see that quick sort and insertion sort finish at almost the same time. So on smaller sets that need to be sorted, um, insertion sort becomes more efficient than quick sort is. So that was just a quick demo of the software that I wrote for this SNG 475 project. Uh, thanks for watching.